such a good father. It's, I did not know him. So or, listen, y'all. I, see him, but he's never I want y'all to listen to him because I feel him, him so much. Him, like, this is the first time I ever heard somebody say this. And I had a Real talk. His side of the family. Now I'm going to shut the fuck and up so y'all can listen. was over, he was gone. But that side of the family would kind of start to stay in touch with him because they could see that he was absent and that he was not going to be a good father. And so his stepmother and his brothers and sisters every now and then would come pick me up. It wasn't that it was constant, but it felt good to just have somebody outside of virtue because really my whole life has been virtue. Kirk's biological father um, has popped up, you know, would pop up here and there in, in our lives. She's and, beautiful. Um, very sporadically. I mean, not consistent at all. A lot of challenges that happen in our communities is that you have a lot of grandmamas and a lot of aunties and a lot of people that raise kids or even legally adopt kids. But the biological mama or the biological daddy every now and then may kind of be like a revolving door. <laughs> it's painful for a child because not only am I abandoned, but the person that abandoned me never allows me the chance to heal because they are always maybe once or twice a year coming in and out. Preach, so bruh. Preach. That I'm abandoned. I'm always reminded that I'm Either you're going to come back or just stay the hell away. With you. Like, I'll never forget a time that uh, Virtue had someone and I. And, um, Miss Juana was sitting outside because Deborah told us my mom. She told us she's gonna come get us. Said she's gonna come get us up for the thing. So me and my sister waited on the curb. Hours. And so every car we were counting, hoping it's gonna be Deborah. Sunset, no Deborah. Hard hmm. night, no Deborah. And me and my sister stayed on that curb. So that type of abandonment is something that you continue to live with because it never really heals because you know the person. Hmm. That's fucked up. We were always the best of friends. And so I uh, just remember that virtue was a was a place of hope for me for so many others. And again, we didn't have but she would recycle beer cans and newspapers to pay for my camera lessons. Could you save my life? Hmm. I remember being in third grade and and me and Gertrude getting a letter saying that I was accepted into the magnet program at a school across the Dutch city. And we were very shocked because I wasn't that kind of student. <laughs> so the beginning of the fourth grade, I'm going to the school that I think I'm accepted in as a magnet student. And around about the second or third week while I'm there, uh, the principal and my home teacher called me in for a meeting. But they sat with me and told me that their computer made a mistake. So here I am again, hearing that I'm a mistake. Wow. They said that the computer made a mistake and... Your grades really don't qualify you to be at this school. 